mosquito nets, net canopies, bed canopies. I I'm not even sure what the official word is, but this is basically what I made in this video uh, for my bed. I obviously don't have uh, issues with mosquitoes. However, it does look very nice. I think uh, the um, challenge was just the mental preparation of how do I want to hang up these um, nets, right? Um, and here's kind of a quick view. So the question was, did I want to put a, a track down that went from here all the way uh, across? That way it would slide easier. Did I want to, um, you know, permanently put them there? Did I want to have central something that's hanging from the center and supporting it from the structure? That was probably the, the most challenging aspect. And as you can see, I just opted for something simple and cheap, but very effective. So what I did was, and I'll show you the material list in a moment, is I grabbed some of this wire, as you'll see, and I've got the uh, Lowe's number, in case someone's interested. And you can see it's not very thick. I'm guessing, if I recall, it was 18 gauges. Uh, but you know, you can look that up on Lowe's number and I'll show you that, just double check. Um, I wanted obviously something thin because uh, when this is, you know, 24 feet long, it gets heavy the thicker it is, obviously, but it gets really heavy. Uh, and for these hooks, you know, you want most of the weight to be obviously the, uh, the net or in this case, just the, you know, the cloth. You don't want, uh, you know, this to be even um, a fraction of the cost. And plus, obviously, as far as weight and support, this clearly isn't going to, even if you had five strands of these, they're going to work just fine. Uh, the only reason that I got something a little bit thicker, obviously, is I, I don't know, I want it to look nice. Um, yeah, you know, something substantial w without necessarily being the main decor. And that's why I opted for something like this. It's quick and it's cheap. So for 20 nine feet of this and I got a little extra just in case but 29 feet of this it was like 18 bucks <coughs> excuse me so here is uh, the quick list uh, I chose um, the panel the closest to you know my decor which is kind of gold here is the uh, the, um, the wire and that's six three seven four one one and that's 28 feet I got this from Lowell's again that's six three seven four one one um, there are obviously I'm missing, uh, two of these clamps, which were down here included. I didn't need these. So I'll just, um, hold on to these. And I got two of these as I'll show you in a moment. And then, uh, in order to put the hooks on the concrete ceiling, um, obviously I need something to expand because you can't just screw something in the drywall. It'll just come right out. So you need something to adhere better to there. So I went ahead and got, uh, this drywall expanding type of screw and it's kind of an alligator type style where as you screw it in the uh, upper and lower as you can see in this screw expand and as it expands it tightens uh, in, in that hole um, and um, it locks it in pretty secured and here you know it says here up to 85 pounds and half inch drywall and that's probably what I have uh, as a final note hopefully this will help as here's my receipt now um, you know you can see most of the cost was uh, this panel, which they're calling gourmet uh, panel, but um, that's most of the cost. But I also got uh, clips. They were, you know, four bucks to clip the uh, paneling uh, onto my uh, rail system, I suppose. And uh, I got a peeler for vegetables, for so you can ignore the peeler. You definitely don't need that at all. Um, so without further ado, let me show you what it is and how it works. Uh, again, it took maybe an hour tops to put everything together. And we'll start on this end here. Um, <clears throat> now I had, um, not really sure what this is called, but I had this already there. This, it's a, um, a hook, it's a full hook and half complete hook. Let me see if I can show better. And you see a lot of these on bridges. So if someone knows exactly what the technical name, I would really appreciate it if you could leave it in the comments. The advantage is, as you, uh, once this is permanently hooked on, is I take that center, sorry, my camera's not focusing in, and I twist it like this, it tightens uh, the entire rope here. Um, and that's, that's what I need. I need this line to be nice and taut. Uh, but if I didn't use this, and I just use this, right, I pulled it through here and screwed both of these uh, bolts in there and tighten this uh, rope for lack of a better term then what would end up happening was you know on both ends it might be too loose or too tight then I'm fumbling around with this thing 
So what I can do here is basically get as tight as I need to and then just manually tighten it while it's already up hung. And that's fantastic. It allows it to be a lot easier to um, hook it up and not play with um, loose um, wire. Um, the other thing that was really important for this project is I've got um, these clips are fairly unique. Um, they take a little work, but you can pull them out of here, which I guess I can do one of them. <clears throat> But what you can do is you can unclip these and pull them off this wire. Now that's really important because you might, for example, want to add more or subtract more depending on how heavy this is and how well it rides on the rail system. So uh, if you get the ones that are um, fully enclosed, the rings are fully enclosed and you can't unclip them right, you have to initially put them through this rope and then um, clip them. I would recommend uh, against that just because of that of that issue of once you have you know let's say 10 on each side on here if you need more you'd have to you know unscrew both of these put your extra rings on go through the loops screwing them back and then you'd have two more so it's kind of a pain in the ass so what I would recommend is just doing that um, let me hook this side back up real quick <clears throat> I'm gonna need two hands for this so what I would recommend is just make sure if you're going to use rings um, on this type of system, you do one of two things. You add more than you think you need, or you plan it out, or like me, I just, added, I just ended up saying, okay, well, I need three, I'm sorry, I needed five, and then later on I said, no, for this one I might need six to make it ride a little smoother. And so I was able to just add one onto the line, and that was that. <coughs> As you can see, obviously, because it's steel, it rides, you can listen to it here. It's very smooth, and I've got a lot of overlap here, so I don't have to worry too much about, you know, um, leaking through. <coughs> and I'll try and get a better picture here. And you can see, and yes, I did account for the distance between uh, this netting and the fan. Uh, as in, you'll see in a moment why that's obviously important, because it does get fairly close. A um, little bit close than I'd like, but what I did was I put additional rings of support all along there so that way it doesn't fold and again, get closer and closer to the fan. So it's hard to tell, but it's at least six inches away from that fan. So that's exactly what I want. In this case, the only way it's going to hit that fan is if I, you know, bring it inside like this. So, you know, I'm an adult, have to be careful. And then, of course, um, you know, I got this side. So common sense you know if you want to decorate this and change out colors take these down and wash them that was the whole point of this design I want it to be maintenance free I didn't want to have to grab a screwdriver every time I wanted to um, remove these the net or uh, anything else so here's a nice far distance of what that looks like and I think that's pretty complete and if I Turn on the light. Let me grab the remote, which is, hello, is the remote here? Hmm. Oh, that's cute. I can't figure out what I did with my remote. Hmm. Cute, okay. Well, at any rate, um, I'm just turn the light on. But as you can see, it's fantastic. It does exactly its job, and it takes seconds to put away and bring up. And because this rail system is all steel, it's very tough. It's not gonna, you know, it's not gonna wear in a couple of years. It's not gonna come down. I mean, it, it's just steel riding steel, and they're not very uh, heavy. And as you can see, it takes seconds to put up. If I, you know. You just swing it here, swing here. So for all of you who are maybe a little bit lazy in the morning, maybe you don't like to make the bed, as you can see, it doesn't take long at all. You just literally done. And here's a wide angle view, again, just to kind of show you what that looks like. So I'm pretty proud of it. Again, it should last a long time. Um, and one more thing, um, this is, 
the height of this is 84 inches, uh, which as you can see, I measured out to be pretty good. Now they, they do come standard 84, but as you can see, uh, because the hook is a little lower, which was intentional, it rides just above the floor. Why is that important? Because ugh, I don't want these curtains to sweep the floor for me because they'll be nasty. Right? If you know how dirty a floor can get, that's why. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have questions or comments, please let me know. Um, otherwise, this is a very simple, fast self-do it. I think the toughest part of this, honestly, was A, the toughest part was deciding what curtains. In this case, I chose gold because it matches my bedroom decor. And the, um, the next, uh, I think, most difficult task was just hanging this up because it is a drywall ceiling. So I wanted to assure that the drywall ceiling uh, the screws that I'm going to put in it, well, I'm sorry, the hooks that I put in there aren't going to be, um, you know, coming down anytime soon. And in case you're wondering what this looks like from inside, there you go. You folks are now in my bedroom, which is a little strange. But as you can see, it's very nice, very nice netting, and it's complete. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have questions, comments, please let me know. Otherwise, I'm gonna get up all right oh wow see how quick that is no excuse for being lazy